Let's get in further details now from our correspondent Patrick Falk, who's joining us live from Hong Kong. Patrick, uh, with each passing day, there are several layers to that protest demonstration, and now school teachers also joining in the movement as well. Help us better understand uh, what the overall demands are looking like at this point. Have they uh, seen any changes in terms of uh, the movement's prime focus because earlier uh, when uh, the extradition bill was uh, deemed to be suspended, uh, the focus had then changed to the resignation of Carrie Lam and now the focus seems to be on the alleged incidents of police brutality. No, I think the key demands have been consistent uh, throughout and key to those uh, of course is for the withdrawal of the extradition bill using that terminology and also importantly that uh, an independent investigation is uh, conducted into uh, the entire fiasco but you know there has been sort of a, 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 an evolving of uh, what this movement's been about and it has become an increasing uh, sort of battle against uh, China and what that means for, for Hong Kong as well. You know, I think it is really remarkable that uh, people have continued to come out and to come out in big numbers. There was a big rally last night, as we, as we know, at Chater Gardens. And again, uh, today, that uh, rally that was organized by, by teachers. And of course, there was a big rally in Hong Kong as well. It, it's certainly not looking like it's going to uh, die down at any time. Uh, you know, and uh, people are expecting the government to address some of these demands. Unfortunately, uh, the government just seems to be wishing uh, it away at the moment. Right. And have things gone beyond the point of communication between the two sides? And have any concerted attempts even been made by the government authorities uh, over the last few days to try and reach out to the protesters? I think the simple answer is no, there's been no engagement and there's been uh, actually a lot of calls for people uh, to try and mediate and to try and find some middle ground because you know the leadership in Hong Kong just isn't there at the moment and they are not negotiating or engaging in dialogue with it, with any of the protesters. You know, at the same time though, I think we understand from Beijing that it's priority right now is to see an end to the unrest and uh, they're not prepared to negotiate under these terms. Uh, unfortunately, you know, we're in the middle of a stalemate and we're not moving forward uh, either way and neither side's backing down. I spoke to one uh, protester today who said, look, it was uh, the Hong Kong government that uh, threw this bomb in the first place. So it's really up to them to take the first step to, to, and make that first move to engage in dialogue and find a solution. You know, that isn't happening at the moment. Of course, what people are worried about is that, you know, the end result could be ending the unrest by force.